So these are holy listening stones. They're just a set of stones and they have on them different symbols. In your DVD packet, you have some holy listening stones that you can cut out and can use right away. So anyway, these are the stones, and you see how they have different symbols on them? This one has some arrows, and this one is a little squiggly face. And, and this one's a smiley face. And that one's a smiley face, and there's a broken heart and a heart. Let me show you how these work. There's one here that looks like this. Do you see this? It sort of looks like a broccoli or a... Or tree. Tail. Or, or a tail from a seal. Or a tail from a seal, like exactly. A That's what it looks, or a hand. Okay, one child might pick this stone and say, this is a tree. And whenever I look at this tree, I feel really strong because in my family, I'm the strong one. Another child might pick this same stone and say, this is a tree without roots. And when daddy died, the roots of our family got cut off. I'm afraid we're going to tip over. Another child might see the same stone and say, this is my cat's paw, and whenever I'm upset, the cat is the only one that listens to me. One little girl who was two, she turned it sideways, and she said, these are my grandpa's arms, and whenever I'm sad, grandpa gives the best hug. So see how they work? There's no right or wrong. So what I want you to do is pick a stone and then tell us, oh, you ready? And then tell us what that tells us about your problem that you're facing, okay? You ready? Okay, so everybody find one. And if somebody chooses your stone, you can, you can use the same stone. You don't have to get different ones. I got this one smiling. Good. Okay. Everybody got one? Okay. Who would like to share? Which one did you get? Anybody want to go first? Sure. Oh, okay. Is it okay if Fiona goes first? Okay. Nice. So when you're upset, that's how you relax. You take off your shoes and it helps you to relax and the foot reminded you of that. Mine? Great. Mine good. Is, okay. Well, what? what? When, you when you smile, it helps you get much energy. When you smile, it makes you feel better. So even when you're sad, if you smile, it makes you feel better. Excellent. Who else has got one? Zane, do you want to share? Um, I picked sort of like a sun looking thing. So my grandma's been sick for a while and she's not doing good and it just offers hope. So your grandmother is sick and you pick the sun because that helps you to have hope. It's like a symbol of hope for you? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Anybody else? Allie. I picked the cloud because when I'm upset, I go outside and look at the clouds. Oh, and it helps you to feel better. Great. Um, I've got a broken heart, and it reminds me of my dog running away because it breaks my heart to see her run away. Oh. How long ago did your dog run away? Was it alone? three weeks. Oh, and your heart's still broken. Oh. Ashley, you want to share? Um, I picked the one with the things that look like eyes that are closed because my brother's losing his vision. So it reminds me of that. So you chose the closed eyes because your brother's losing his vision? Yes. That's tough. Thank you. You want to share, Twilo? Sure. Okay. Um, I chose the like one with the swirly thing on it because it kind of just reminds me of how confusing things get. And Okay, great. Yeah, confusion. Just that swirling, swirling all around. Um, great, Paul, yes. Paul smiles. Uh -huh. It helps you feel happy and, and you can help and you can play and it makes you feel very happy and makes you trust in your heart. Nice. So that's a really good symbol for you. Good one. Okay, let's everybody pick another one. Pick one more. Put all your ones back in. You can pick, you know, a different one. Really look at them. Take a second. Okay, now remember that we're practicing holy listening. And holy listening is when you listen without judging and without commenting. And I just want to ask you, how did it feel to be listened to? Good. Did, you, good. did it good. feel good? Yeah. And when we listen to another person, it creates that space between you and that person which says, I honor your feelings and I value your feelings. And it's like step one, your feelings matter. So I want you, as you share this time, to remember that your feelings are really important. They're like a precious gift, and when you share them and they're received, you realize how precious they are. Your feelings really do matter. So let's really practice listening to each other, okay? okay. Who would like to go first? Tana. 
I got a blank one because I just don't know what I feel like because sometimes I just feel sad and sometimes I feel happy and so great thank you good one yes um I got an X because um I feel confusing a lot and and I feel like I'm gonna get an X picture and and all about things and and, and I'm gonna get smarter excellent good I love how you're listening to each other. You're really demonstrating holy listening. Yes? Um, I kind of have somebody that's kind of like frowning without hair. It's kind of like my cousin because she had um, cancer and she had that chemotherapy thing. Mm. And so she didn't have hair for a while. And she was kind of sad mm. about that because so she was very scared. So your cousin lost her hair with her chemotherapy. Is yeah. she still not have hair? No, she's growing it back. Oh, good. Okay. Who else wants to share? Ashley? I chose the one that looks like a path because when things get tough with my brother, it helps me to like remind, remember that God will lead me through it. Great. So God will lead you down that path. And it's not a straight path, is it? No. <laughs> is that what it feels like, kind of curvy? Yeah. Yeah. I chose a foot because um, it, was, it reminds me of my foot because when I'm mad, I look at my foot because I have stitches in my foot. So. And I got stitches in my head. Really? You have stitches in your foot? Yeah. Hmm. Are, they, are you okay? Good. Okay. Um, I chose sort of an arrow pointing to a wall because it reminds me that everything that happens is really a trial that God puts you through and that's the only reason that you're there. And, God has a better purpose. Great. Thank you. Anybody else want to share? I will. Okay. Um, I chose, like, the crooked arrow um, because it reminds me of how you have to, like, swerve around things in life because sometimes things get tough, but you have to keep going. Great. Thanks. Good. Did everybody share? Do you want to share, Isaiah? Did everybody else get a chance? All right, great. So how did it feel? To be, was it hard to share your feelings, or? No, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. Good. Did you think the rocks help? Yeah. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> yeah, they're happy. All right. Great. Let's put the rocks away. I want to do keep that. You like the rocks? Oh, good. Well, you know what? Holy listening stones are just one way that you can help children to start sharing their feelings. Uh, they work, though, I think, because many times when we're in crisis, it's hard to find just the right word for it. Uh, if your parent has just died or if your parents have just separated, many times you don't have words that describe your pain. And sometimes a child will come to my center and just point to a rock and say, I don't know how to say what I feel, but that's how I feel. I feel like that swirly shape or I feel like that crooked path. And um, that begins the process of them being able to express themselves. But step one is that your feelings matter. The way we're going to let children know that their feelings matter and that they matter to us is by wholly listening, not correcting, not judging, and not interpreting.